Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class the tarot class a flash sale but I never announced it to you so you who are following me on YouTube you never knew about that it's 30% off and in order to get to this uh, to this sale uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page and I'm gonna sort you out from there so uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, laid back and enjoy the show. Right, so uh, we have Libra on our hands. And the first thing that we're going to look at for a Libra for the upcoming week, that is going to be uh, Libra's career. So let me uh, shuffle the cards and uh, we are going to get right into it. Right, so the first one we have, wow, look at that. We do have the Ace of Wands. Uh, moving next, that is going to be the Temperance, uh, followed by uh, the uh, Knights of Cups. And the last one we have for you, Libra, that will be the Two of Wands. So hands down, guys, uh, that week is going to be the week where you do go on and going to face the opportunity you need in order to further your skills, okay? So, um... And that will be based entirely on your previous performance. Now, however, the conditions under which those this opportunity unfolds itself are not going to be ideal, though. And that will be the real kicker here that we do have for you. And many of you who are very proud, they may simply deny the opportunity, all right? Because at the end of the day, just because you're going to have it, it doesn't mean that you're going to take it, okay? Because taking it, it depends entirely based on your decision. So what the, the, the really the week represents here for you is, is that in term of career, you're going to have a, a, a gaining for enterprise is going to appear in front of you that will allow you to expand on your skills. Now, needless to say, that is a fantastic thing for those which are jobless because the only thing that makes sense as a gaining for opportunity is a gaining for new job right but again it's not going to be within an ideal conditions okay and uh Right off the back, as you do hear about the condition, you may say, no, I'm not going to start working in this thing. And uh, you are going to miss that gaining for opportunity. So don't be thick headed. That is what I am trying to say here. But give the thing a chance. Give the project a chance. Give the job a chance. You know, give the person a chance. A chance, Because that opportunity may uh, unfold itself as well through a partnership. Like somebody approaches you to establish a private job, private project company, so on and so forth. Business in other words uh, very important this week it is not to spare as well any efforts because uh, this is exactly how you are going to be assessed uh, for how far you can go in terms of this enterprise moving forward into the future we do have the Knights of Cups into the third position and pretty much that card speaks that you that that, that is how you're going to be judged that okay you, your charisma is not going to be judged you know your um empathy is not going to be judged how well you look is not going to be judged or how well you tackle with your co-workers is not going to be judged what is going to be judged it is the results you display and because of those results it is exactly the reason why you are gonna have the opportunity throughout the week so uh, if you are to apply for a jobs for example make sure that you do make your portfolio and your CV as colorful as possible do not spare any achievement even if it is the tiniest one to input in there because uh, everything is going to be once again a assessed so where all that is leading to really well it leads to a, um, a good milestones that you are going to be able to establish by the end of the week in terms of a job and in terms of career but those milestones are not nearly 
uh, as far as you can go. What I mean is that it may feel like you have accomplished great deeds, and while that is true, you can go even for much a greater heights here. So that being said, you should not stop developing your skill, your work, your job, your uh, and your drive in generally moving forward. Even if you are facing some kind of difficulties to move forward, you need to remember your goal and allow the uh, the light of that goal to illuminate the path moving forward. Should you find yourself in a rather dark place. One last thing I want to say about your career, it is that uh, you and the people you're working with or the people that you are about to start working with, uh, you may not share. In fact, it is it will be very common that you do not share the same opinion and the same vision. And that is totally fine. Okay, uh, You don't have to like what your boss thinks, you don't have to like what your coworker thing thinks, you don't have to like what your client thinks, but in order for the things to keep on going, moving forward, you have to respect it, okay? And they, and if you do want to be respected, you have to respect them as well. That will be a problem, that's why I'm stressing it out, that you may kind of become cocky and think that your way, it is the only way, and that's not true. So that was about your career. Now moving next, we do have uh, your uh, relationship life. So let's uh, let's have a look. Let me shuffle the cards and uh, see what you are to experience there. So the first one we have, it is the King of Cups moving next uh, for you in terms of relationship. That is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by uh, the Five of Swords here. And the last one for you, Libra, that is going to be the Ace of Cups. I mean, that, that's very promising. So it does look like... So if we do, if we did have a, a general reading as usual, you know, which I don't enjoy doing at all, uh, I love these more focused readings. So probably this is how the things are gonna move forward with the channel. But if we did have a just a general reading, I bet we, 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 oh my God, we would have had the Fool or the Judgment at the very start of the reading here. So pretty much uh, your Love Tarot reading does it does revolve itself around a, a, a something like a proposition or an, an approach that is gonna be uh, made towards you. If you are single, obviously, that will be someone who is really into you in terms emotionally that is gonna make a move. Or if you are in a relationship, then your partner is going to become much more emotionally attached and devoted to the relationship itself. Uh, even if you do have any problems in between each other whatsoever, uh, those problems are gonna be tend to be overlooked throughout this week. Unfortunately though, and that may be a bit of a crushing news for some of you, that does not count for a reconciliation. So uh, uh, if you do hope that that will, um, how can I say, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much does not involve a reconciliation. This uh, this emotional commitment does not count for a exes. It counts only for a people that you had no history with or that you are currently building up a history with them. Old history, it's not going to repeat itself throughout the week, the very least. But I do have a good news for you as well. Now, even if uh, that's the case and you do hope for a reconciliation, that person which is going to make any move towards you, should you give them a or the woman a chance, um, it will make the uh, wishful thinking of yours to repeat back the history meaning to reconcile completely irrelevant because you are going to see much better future with that guy or a woman, whatever, than with your ex moving forward. Regardless of that, uh, it will be quite a well emotional week for you in terms of a relationship and uh, I can only say here, guys, that you gotta open yourself and invite the love 
coming in in your uh, in your life and in fact that person whichever the person is okay I mean uh, it could be a, a suitor once again it could be someone that has secret interest in you you do or your current partner you do have a, a tremendous influence over them I mean you do have so much power there that whatever you say pretty much goes okay it's, it's just all of your wishes are going to be uh, fulfilled throughout the week. If you do speak up your mind though, because that person does not interpret thoughts, does not read brains, does not read uh, minds as well. So it's, uh, it's very important if you do want something to ask for it. And if you do want to know something again, to ask for it as well. Because if you don't ask, the answer always is going to be no, because once again, people do not presume, especially this one, uh, the king of the king of cups. He does not presume. He only goes by the uh, the evidence and as well the the circumstances because they do base their decisions on a mature, valid, and um, how can I say and established arguments. Okay, and. Uh, it's pretty much they don't fantasize. They're very professional, but that is if we, if we were for a, a career reading. Uh, in any case, Libra, uh, that week, it does look like that you're going to have your chance to excel into career and into love as well. If you are dreaming for love, love is coming your way through once again, either uh, through once again, a either someone is going to make a move towards you or you're going to see a, a very strong um commitments in terms of emotion, uh, in, uh, emotional commitment, I'm sorry, in terms of your already existing relationship. Again, repeating that does not count for a reconciliation. And uh, you do have the power over that person, whatever you say, go, just make sure that you do not abuse that power because going to backlash moving forward into the future. You can get, you can get away with it just so much you can get away with it just only throughout this week, but you may be held accountable moving forward into the future for what you did throughout the week. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, in terms of um, love and career. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it, and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.